Folks, these cyclones are tough enough to forecast five days out when they're well just traveling over the ocean, but they're going to be traveling over land areas, interacting with the front end could be interacting with each other. At the present time, they're 1200 miles apart. Laura is over 1000 miles away from us. Marco is closer, but Marco is going to head into the Gulf of Mexico. The big question, though, is how far to the left will Marco go and the farther north versus west, then the more Marco will interact in some form or fashion with Laura. So let's first take a look with Laura, because although we're no longer in Laura's cone, we're closest or will be when the forecast comes around to impacting our weather. All right, maybe looking a little more symmetrical. Uh, if you've been with us through the summer, you know that if, if nothing else, even if you don't know the numbers as they become more symmetrical, a little bit stronger, but not much. Overall, I would still say this is a ragged look at storm. That's good news for our friends in Puerto Rico. This way, we're primarily so far looking at rain, not a wind problem. And the weaker it is, the more ragged it looks in the satellite, then the more west and farther to the south it stays, and thus less of a risk to us. So here's the official forecast track. And if anything, it's been nudged a little farther off toward the west. Big questions as far as how much will it weaken going over the islands because conditions are very ripe, super ripe for rapid intensification. So although we're only showing a forecast category one, if the system survives, basically the greater Antilles is what we call them. This is going to be more than a category one, but keep that picture in mind. Now let's go to Marco. Here is Marco and right in here we talk about the CDO. The way it developed this evening, Hurricane Hunters flew in there and found the system. Now, the forecast track from the National Hurricane Center forecast has been adjusted just slightly to the right. But I can tell you there are some pretty significant models that want to break in farther off to the right, which would put the, both of these systems within about day four very close to each other, within 600 miles. That's significant. We'll talk about that in a moment. For now, here's the big three. Again, the trend for us looking good, not good at all for the Gulf, much more day by day in just a few moments.